Hello and welcome to Claire's Chemistry Corner. My name is Claire Flint Anderson and today I wanted to make a special video for all of you sophomores and juniors out there who are going into chemistry. I have gotten a lot of questions about what to expect going into Gen Chem um, because I think it's very scary for a lot of people. I've seen several Twitter posts today actually about how chemistry is so hard but it's really not. It's like you'll be, you'll be okay. Like I've got some handy tips and tricks to help you out. Um, so yeah, I just put together a list of um, five or six, depending on how much I want to do, um, of tips that I thought would help me and I that I wish I knew when I went into Gem Chem uh, last year, which is my sophomore year. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. And as you can see, I am definitely following the chemistry corner rule of not looking nice because, let's face it, um, but yeah, okay, so here we go. Uh, number one, ask for help from your friends, from your teachers. Uh, in the, the magical words of Zac Efron and the entire cast of High School Musical, we're all in this together. Um, your teachers, it is literally their job to answer your questions and to help you out. They get paid um, too little money to do that. <laughs> um, so please ask them questions. They genuinely do appreciate you uh, coming to them and asking and trying to better yourself and are genuinely interested in getting to know the subject better and doing better in their class. Um, also talk to your friends because they can totally relate to what you're going through. Um, and please don't be afraid to ask. I was so afraid to ask questions because I thought I would look dumb and nobody's gonna think you're dumb unless you're talking to Hank Sparks. Whoops. Um, but yeah, nobody's gonna think you're dumb. It's gonna be okay. Just ask questions. I swear it'll help so much. And even though it's scary, it really will make or break your grade in the class. Um, number two, do your homework. This is a big one, especially for me and my specific chemistry teacher because she didn't grade homework. Um, so she would still assign us homework, but there was no grade incentive attached to it. So you could choose whether or not to do it and your performance, uh, would reflect that because the quiz and the tests were pretty much just different, like w the same problems on the homework, but she would change the numbers and stuff. So it was really similar. And I know doing my homework helped me a lot. Um, and... I am definitely guilty of watching one too many episodes of Grey's Anatomy while I'm supposed to be uh, doing my chem homework, uh, but definitely do your homework because it helps so much. No matter if you do it the lunch period right before class, like seriously, whenever, it doesn't matter, just do it. In the words of Shia LaBeouf, just do it! <laughs> Have you guys seen the Shia LaBeouf song, the one at the end where it says Shia Surprise? That's like my favorite thing. Shy a surprise. It's so funny. Um, anyways, um, number three, this is probably the most important thing. One bad grade isn't going to kill you. Um, I definitely got a couple not so good grades on quizzes. I think like one or two quizzes. I got low B's on and I got B's on both of my final exams for chem. Whoops, uh, I, Claire Flint Anderson has received a B. I am owning up to it. I did it. A B on a final exam. And that's really good. Like, honestly, it's hard. Like, chemistry is a hard class, hard final. Uh, you should be proud of yourself, no matter what grade you get. So, go you. You haven't even taken it yet. And I'm so proud of you. So, mini, mini dance party for part of tea. Uh, it's for, for you in Spanish, uh, for the layman out there. Uh, but but yeah, really elaborating on that, I if you know me, you know that I worry about everything, uh, especially my grades. Uh, if one bad thing happens, I think it's the end of the world. Uh, even before it happens, I'm freaking out. Uh, like I think before most of my finals, I, I am so sorry to anyone who has had to deal with me before a final exam because I'm literally a mess. Like, I am crying, I am, like, panic Facebook messaging people, I'm panic texting people. It is nuts. And the one thing I'm not doing is studying, which is the one thing that I should be doing. I'm just freaking out about how I'm not studying and then refusing to study. Um, so, I, yeah, so I freak out too much. Don't freak out too much. 
a bad grade isn't going to kill you. You're gonna be okay. I promise. Uh, number four, raise your hand to ask and answer questions. Ask and answer questions. Because that's the only way that you'll learn and grow as a person and in the class. Um, and number five, that's probably number five. I think that's number five. Pro probably. Number five, pay attention in class. Um, I know that I sat next to one of my best friends uh, for two, I think probably half of the year. Yeah, probably half the year I sat next to him and we had we had a good time. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was a fun time. We talked a lot. Um, but that probably wasn't super great because I probably missed a lot that I could have learned from just paying attention in class and paying attention during notes. Um, so pay attention in class. Do your homework. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't freak out over bad grades and ask for help because you're going to be okay. I promise you. All right. Have a great rest of your day. And for those of you starting school tomorrow, like I am, good luck. <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs>